Hi there, it's Simon Hurley, and I'm a 15-year-old card maker here at scrapbook.com. And in this lesson, I'm excited to share with you how to clean your stamps and get a really crisp, clean stamped image and avoid some of the problems you may have when you're stamping. So sometimes when you first get a stamp set and it's right out of the package, it kind of repels the ink just a little bit. And this only happens every once in a while, and it's not too often, but I'm gonna show you what you can do to make it look a little bit smoother and more solid. And like I said, this won't happen all the time, but sometimes with new sets, it just happens, and you're gonna to have to kind of condition your stamp before you use it. I'm gonna use this Koala stamp set from Hero Arts, and I'm using a really solid stamp so that I can kind of demonstrate the way to stamp it and how it kind of repels ink right out of the package. So I'm gonna add this right onto an acrylic block, and I'm going to take a piece of cardstock here and my ink pad. And I'm going to ink this up like I usually would. And then I'm going to stamp that down. And sometimes you'll get effects like that where it's really splotchy. Now it still will sink into the cardstock and kind of smooth out over time. And it'll give you a really nice result later on because it is a dye ink. However, there is quite a bit of splotchiness in here. So I'm going to show you how you can kind of avoid that and fix it in the future if that ever happens. One trick that I found works pretty well when using these clear stamps is a Versamark ink pad. And all you have to do with this is kind of lightly go over your stamp with it and it will kind of condition it and give it a layer of kind of this clear residue that will stick onto your stamp. And then just kind of wipe it off like this and kind of rub it into the stamp. And then I'll condition it and make it be able to hold more of your ink pad and let it repel it less. So then I'm gonna take that same ink pad and ink up my stamp once again. And you can see that the ink is sticking just a little bit more there. And then I can stamp that same image down. And it looks much more solid and crisp. And even those little tiny splotches there will definitely smooth out over time because this dye ink sinks into the cardstock. Now I'm gonna be talking about how to clean your stamps because with these clear photopolymer stamps, it can kind of stain your stamps with all the different ink pads that you put on there and you want a nice clear crisp color with every ink pad. So let's say you're stamping down and you have some leftover ink on your stamp like this and you want to clean it off. The best way to do that is by taking some stamp cleaner. There's a couple of different ones out on the market. This is the Ranger stamp cleaner, which has a little dauber at the end and you can just tap it right onto that stamp with the ink. And then I like using the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois to kind of clear off and clean your stamp. And that will get rid of any of the excess ink. Now sometimes with clear photopolymer stamps, it does still stain the stamp. So you can see that there's still a red tint on this stamp. And if you're not too happy about that, you can get some more um, heavy cleaners that will kind of pull that off but a lot of times some of the ink pads will stain these stamps and there's no way of getting around that. Sometimes stamps can be made out of a different kind of clear material that doesn't take the ink quite as well, but they can still have some really awesome images like this stamp set. So I'm gonna pull out one of the solid butterflies from this here. And I'm gonna cling it onto one of my acrylic blocks. And then I can ink it up as well with this same ink pad. And you'll notice that when you ink it up, the ink kind of bubbles off the stamp just a little bit like that. And you won't get a perfect impression. So you kind of get a lot of splotchy images there. And that's because the ink doesn't really sit nicely on top of these. It kind of repels it. However, if you still want to get one of these stamp sets because they have really awesome images, I like to take just a little piece of sandpaper here and just kind of rough up the stamp a little bit. And this way you're removing that kind of top layer of the stamp and making it um, kind of hold the ink a little bit more and giving the ink a place to stick to. And this really helps when you're using these stamps. Once you've sanded it, it'll kind of have um, a less of a see-through appearance to it. And this will help the ink to hold a little bit better on the stamp. Now it still might not be perfect, but it's going to do a lot better than it did in the first place. So I'm just gonna ink up the stamp and stamp it right back down onto the cardstock. It's still not perfect, but it does give a way better results than if you just use it right out of the package. 
Now, if you find a stamp set out of that material, but it has some really awesome images in it, and it has smaller and thin kind of lines, this will take the ink a little bit better, and you'll probably get some great stamped results with this. So I'm pulling out this big bear from this stamp set. And I'm going to attach that right onto my acrylic block. And for this little lined image, I'm just going to use a black ink pad here. And then I can stamp it right down into my cardstock. And there you have your awesome stamped image. Now I'm going to show how to create a card with nice solid stamped floral images. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer here so we can cut down my card base. And this is just a regular eight and a half by 11 white piece of cardstock. And I'm gonna line it up with four and one fourth and cut it lengthwise. And this will give you a top folding card, but we're gonna flip it so that it's sideways, so that it's a side folding card. So I'm gonna grab my score pal here, and then we can start scoring this. So then you can score your card right at the five and a half mark. And that just creates a nice little crease there. And you can fold it over and then I like to use the other side of my bone folder just to kind of crease it and make that more prominent. And there you have your card base. So I'm going to move that off to the side. And then we can start our stamping. So I'm going to be using this Concord and Ninth stamp set with these fun flowers and this wood palette here. So I'm just going to pull my stamps out and then we can add these all onto acrylic blocks and you can just stick them right onto there. Then to create our little scene, I'm just going to take a couple different colors of inks and ink up our little flowers there, and then stamp it down onto my card and give it a nice good pressure. So once that image is stamped, I'm gonna keep building up the scene here. So I'm gonna bring in other colors of ink and we could do some leaves around that little flower to kind of build up the seam. The nice part about these stamp sets is you can kind of create your own little bouquet and scenes of flowers on your cards, and it's a lot of fun to be creative with that. So I'm bringing in some other colors here and stamping them down onto the card. Then I'm gonna stamp our little greeting to go across the card, and I want it to say together forever. So I'm gonna take this stamp here. And the nice part about this stamp set is you can use a couple of these greetings and kind of build it up because they're all separate stamps. So you could do friends forever or from me to you. You can really create your own greeting here. So I'm taking that forever and I'm gonna add that onto an acrylic block. And I'm also gonna add that smaller sentiment onto here as well. And then we can stamp this down in some black ink to make it really stand out from that background. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And then you can stamp it right down onto your card. And then to finish off that greeting, I'm just going to line up that together sentiment right above. And there you go, now we're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about how to create really awesome stamped images on your cards. And I would love to see all of your project photos in the gallery. I'll see you in the next class.